Hi, I'm Navid, and I'm happy to present our paper, LATTE, Use Case and Assistive Service Driven Automated Accessibility Testing Framework for Android. 15% of the world population have some forms of disability. Software should be accessible, especially right now when apps are essential parts of our daily lives. Users with disability use assistive service to interact with software. For example, blind users use a screen reader such as TalkPack in Android. A screen reader announces the textual description of elements in the screen and lets users to navigate through elements by special gestures. Also, users with motor impairments use special keywords like this one through a service called Switch Access in Android. Unfortunately, recent studies show accessibility issues are prevalent in mobile apps. Therefore, it's necessary for developers to evaluate the accessibility of their apps. Testing can be done either manually or automatically. In manual testing, given an app, a user preferably with disability, perform some use cases using assistive service and report existing issues. This technique is accurate since the use cases are evaluated using the actual way disabled users interact with the device. However, manual testing is time consuming, impractical, and usually developers do not have access to users with variety of disabilities. The other way of testing is through automated tools. The existing automated testing techniques such as accessibility scanner, it scans a screenshot and performs some checks on individual GUI elements according to accessibility guidelines. Automated techniques are fast and can be performed after each update of the app. However, developers either not utilize or even ignore the results. One study showed that half of the GUI templates in official Android ID have accessibility issues. And another study showed that more than 50% of the actual accessibility problems could not be detected by accessibility guidelines. The question is that, is it possible to have a testing technique that could benefit from both sides? We believe our approach, LATTE, can be the first step toward this ideal case. LATTE is automated and focuses on the main functionalities by reusing GUI test cases. Mobile developers usually write GUI test cases to test main functionalities of their apps. Also, LATTE reflects the way users with disability interact with apps using assistive services. Here's an overview of LATTE's process, which consists of three parts. First, LATTE generates a use case specification from the input test case. Use case specification is a representation of the use case with accessibility-related information. Then LATTE executes the use case specification with an assistive service like TalkBack or Switch Access. Note that this is the main part that our approach differs from other techniques, as LATTE actually interacts with the device using an assistive service, just like users with disability do. Finally, LATTE produces a report that contains the accessibility failures and warnings that it finds during the execution. Accessibility warnings are steps in a use case that are accessible, However, it takes an exorbitant amount of time. Moreover, we report additional information, such as number of actions that it takes to complete a use case and a video recording of the use case execution to make developers familiar with the struggle of users with disability. Now let's see how LATTE works through an example. This is the launcher screen of an app. Let's say its developers want to test an important use case in this app like registration. Here's a GUI test case that executes these functionalities. Since the test case is passed, it seems this use case is working correctly. However, only for users without disabilities. Then the developers test the app using Accessibility Scanner. It reports a several issue with elements such as low contrast and a small touch target size, which do not impact a blind user. Now let's evaluate the app by LATTE. Since the first step of the test case is clicking on create account, LATTE tries to click on it using TalkBack. When TalkBack is enabled, the background image is focused and LATTE tries to reach to the front of the app, but it's impossible. Because as LATTE navigates the app, the background images are revolving and creates an infinite loop. This scenario is the same for switch access. Now let's see the effectiveness of LATTE for real world apps in our empirical evaluation. We implemented a prototype of this work for TalkBack and Switch Access in Android. We used 20 Android apps for the empirical evaluation, and for TalkBack, LATTE found 39 failures, where 21 of them could not be detected by accessibility scanner. And for Switch Access, LATTE found 11 failures, where none of them could be detected by accessibility scanner. We manually examined the failures and warnings detected by LATTE and categorized them so developers can be aware of them. 
Due to the limited time, I encourage you to visit our website to watch video demonstrations, read our paper, or access the entire source code of LATTE. Thanks for listening.